As a Christian, I believe in the law of causality now, but I don't believe in reincarnation. What should I do? Where there is causality, there is reincarnation. We can discuss this from the perspectives of one's birth and death. When one is born, his innate four quotients, intelligence quotient, emotional quotient, spiritual quotient, moral quotient, as well as various interests, skills, temperament and character, are all different from his parents. Thus, they are not inherited. So, are these differences set by God? As ceramics workers know, ceramics are divided into first class, second class, third class and fourth class. Those worse than the fourth class are considered substandard, and those worse than substandard are considered waste. Actually, like ceramics, there are also vast differences among humans. Could it be that God creates humans just like workers produce ceramics? God is merciful, just, righteous and omnipotent. He won't set things up this way, nor can there be technical mistakes. Therefore, when one is born, his innate factory settings must have causes from his past lives. Secondly, after one dies, if he has committed evil deeds, he will go to hell. The duration of the punishment depends on the severity of the evil deeds. It cannot be eternal. Being punished eternally does not conform to the law of causality, because finite negative causes cannot result in infinite negative consequences. Therefore, when the punishment is over, he can be reincarnated as a human and continue to repent and practice. After death, if one enters heaven for the good deeds he has done because of believing in God, he needs to continue to repent and practice in order to continuously eradicate his sinful nature. If he hasn't completely eradicated the thoughts of pride, envy, discontent and self-exaltation, he might become a fallen angel, be reincarnated as a human and follow Satan to harm the world. Because finite positive causes won't lead to infinite positive results. Only by constantly repenting and practicing and completely eradicating all the sinful natures can one reach unity with God and never fall. Actually, after death, very few people meet the conditions to enter heaven. Same as the ones that go to hell. Most people don't meet the conditions to heaven or hell. This is a common sense. However, While waiting in the underworld, their sins won't decrease and their virtues won't increase. There is no change. So, the only possibility for them is to be reincarnated as humans and continue to repent. The Bible is permeated with the concept of reincarnation. Without reincarnation, the Bible is not self-consistent. With the concept of reincarnation, it's pretty easy to understand.